welcome welcome back in this uh, lecture we're going to learn about how to create app production policies for android devices in the previous lecture we did create it for uh, ios specific devices now it's time for to create a policies for android device fill the names here in this case i'm gonna uh, fill it here as a uh, name android app production policies and platform as android and you can target this to entire all application uh, all applications uh, in this case so if you can look at here this specific setting can apply similar way for ios also and that i forgot to explain in ios section but um, this specific setting is the same now under apps you have the apps here you have the many of the applications so you can choose the common business applications which you want to apply uh, policies on that specific uh, thing for example i'm going to apply for my Outlook in this case also if the device is coming from Android and I wanted to protect the application for Outlook so the settings which are coming here similarly it's going to be data protection and access requirement conditional launch and the data protection is this is going to be uh, how the application going to be similar setting in fact if you can you know uh, check out these uh, options quite similar for iOS uh, these are the settings uh, like you want to you know take the backup to Google Cloud or somewhere else if you want to block it you can block immediately for send organization data to other applications uh, also if you want to exempt any of the applications you can do that uh, by selecting here for example I want to just the specific to be uh, within that uh, corporate apps environment or isolation uh, then I can choose that and then I, I have the options here to application lists that are to be excluded uh, and similarly I do have here receiving data and other applications so here I can say that there should be company managed applications and the save content copy paste information or saving the data uh, within the organization uh, organization data that kind of you know settings are quite same for the screen capture and the Google Assistant if you want to block it block it by default it's going to be enabled but if you want to disable you can disable that specific setting and coming back to the encryption uh, this is not the entire device en encryption we are talking about the application encryption if you, to, uh, if you are going to be configured this as to be required it's gonna actually configure as the uh, encryption should be happen on that specific uh, application and uh, coming back to the functionality side uh, you want to you know, sync it uh, with the native contacts you can enable uh, this specific application uh, uh, for example uh, you want to read from your uh, maybe a car device or some other devices which uh, which is connected maybe throughout your Bluetooth or somewhere so such things can be you know configure from out of here otherwise uh, you can you know uh, simply configure a similar exception similar uh, configuration what we have done for iOS and click OK the settings and then go back to the access requirement this is also very similar like the pin length and the minimum pin select the pinning pin length and when it's gonna expire number of days the password should be valid all that that are um, very similar there's there's no um, much configuration but you don't see here maybe a face ID or other con other configurations but uh, these are the configurations are very quite same and uh, similar to iOS specific settings and coming back to the conditional launch uh, here too we have the similar settings what we have in iOS specific uh, for example here the maximum pin attempts uh, if the user is uh, try to unlock the device unlock to, uh, unlock the application more than five times with a wrong password it's gonna you know reset the pin or uh, it's gonna uh, configure if the grace period is more than seven uh, 720 minutes which is uh, not active then it's gonna block the access similarly um, similarly you have the grace period of 90 uh, days uh, post to that it's gonna simply wipe up the uh, configuration of that uh, or it's gonna wipe up that application altogether and you can also set some other uh, con configurations at the device level these are the application level and these are the device level for example if the device is coming from jailbroken or routed uh, you can you know block it and similarly you can say that hey I wanted to block for the device manufacturers uh, some other company then you can block that uh, specific uh, configuration uh, or you can allow them uh, such configurations can be done here uh, that's all about the um, conditional access uh, and then once you have done this specific settings you can click OK and that would actually create a application protection policy for you and uh, that concludes how to do it for uh, iOS and Android specific thank you for watching this